Hey, welcome back to the Fortified Castle. Hi to all my viewers. And uh, today we've got a really important topic to talk about. We're going to be looking at if you may have some warning signs that you're a knife addict. And so um, knife collecting is a great hobby, but uh, when that hobby turns into an obsession, it can wreck your life and make you homeless. So I went to the American Psycho um, Psychological Institute and um, got some good information from them on how to determine whether, you know, maybe maybe your hobby's turning into an obsession, guys. And uh, so we're going to talk about those uh, right now. If you've ever lied to a significant other about buying a knife, you might be a knife addict. All right, so uh, the first one is if you use your pocket knife to cut your breakfast up, uh, you might be a knife addict. If you don't have hair on your arm, because that's how they test the sharpness of your knife. If you have tattoos of any knives. If Forged in Fire is your favorite TV show, you might be a knife addict. If Slice and Dice is your favorite model, if you actually think you can throw a knife at someone and it'll stick, you might be a knife addict. If you've ever justified buying a knife by saying it's an investment, you might be a knife addict. If you've ever referred to knives as a work of art, you might be a knife addict. You might be a knife addict if the only reason you bought it was it was a good deal. Yeah, you might be a knife addict. If you've ever gone on vacation just so you can visit pawn shops in a different state, you might be a knife addict. If you feel ashamed about what it costs. If you've ever bought a hunting knife but you have never hunted in your life, you might be a knife addict. If you've ever said this is the last one I'm going to buy and immediately bought another knife, you might be a knife addict. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If uh, every gathering you go to, um, you feel compelled to show your new knife, you might be a knife addict. Uh-huh. Maybe. If you call the Bass Pro Knife Shop knife counter just so you can talk to somebody about knives, you might be a knife addict. If you have ever referred to your knives as friends, if you ever referred to your knife as he or she, if you rent a post office box just so your wife doesn't know exactly how many knives you're getting in the mail, you might be a knife addict. If you've ever told your wife, honey, let's go for a ride out in the country so we can spend some time together. And then all you do is stop at pawn shops and antique shops all day long. You might be a knife addict. If you buy extra boxes of Band-Aids because you're always cutting yourself, Randy's WSG, you might be a knife addict. If a church group has visited you because they heard about your knife problem, you might be a knife addict. If you've ever bought a knife when you had no money in the bank because you know you've got bounce protection, you might be a knife addict. If you don't like a knife, but you buy it anyhow because you're curious about how it would feel, you might be a knife addict. If you have knives displayed in your home as part of an interior decoration, you might be a knife addict. If you can't decide what knife you want to carry that day, you might be a knife addict. If you have ever gone to Lowe's 
Home Depot or Tractor Supply and bought a knife because you might as well, while you're there, you might be a knife addict. If you're at a funeral and while they're giving the eulogy, you wonder, I wonder what they're going to do with that guy's knives. You might be a knife addict. If you've ever sold anything so that you could afford to buy a knife, you might be a knife addict. If the postal delivery people all know you by your first name, you might be a knife addict. If you've ever said, no, I didn't buy that knife, I guess they sent it to me as a customer appreciation gift, you might be a knife addict. If you carry more than one knife, if you've been disciplined at work because they have a no-knife policy and you insist on carrying one anyhow, you might be a knife addict. If you spend more on knives than groceries, you might be a knife addict. If you missed your daughter's wedding because it was the same date as Blade Show, you might be a knife addict. All right, guys, and finally, if you've listed your knives in your will, you might be a knife addict. And uh, I hope that helps some of you out. I know some of those, I think, apply to me. I don't know. I But, you know, I don't know. I don't think I'm a knife addict. I really don't. And you probably aren't either. But thanks for watching. I hope you found it humorous. I hope it brightens your day. I hope you have a great weekend. And thanks for supporting the channel.